Hi Taurus, this is your January 9th through January 15th weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage. Um, I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first bit is a new love this week. We have the 10 of ones clarified by the 6 of ones. We have the fool clarified by the 8 of ones. We have the king of swords in the uh, potential outcome. We have the three of pentacles with the star and the 10 of pentacles. And we also have the ace of cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an air sign, a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius or an Aries or pretty much any zodiac sign. I usually go with a uh, with a court card, a king or a queen if one shows up and yes, we do have this king of swords right there in the middle. So I think that's the person coming into your life. So they could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius or somebody with a lot of air in their chart or they could be embracing the energy of the king of swords. Somebody who is very straightforward, very direct, somebody who is not afraid of, of obstacles. And there's that's the whole story right here in the beginning of this. Uh, reading right there with the ten of ones clarified by the six of ones right you will know if this story is for you if that is applicable to you and let me talk about that real quick so the ten of ones is a card of a burden it's a card of a difficulty it's a card of obstacles something on the way in whatever shape or form however it's clarified by the six of ones it's a card of victory and success it's a card of recognition and it's also a card of overcoming something Right, then the full, the next card over, uh, could have been an Aries you were dealing with, but the full, I think this is them, are finally free from whatever that Ten of Wands represents in your particular situation. So now that they have overcame this, now the two of you can move forward together. For some of you, that could have happened before they met you. Perhaps they are a survivor of some sort. Perhaps they battled something. Perhaps they had a problem with the law and they took care of it, right? They got a good lawyer and they won or something among those lines. But you'll, again, you'll know if this story is for you, if there was some kind of an obstacle or difficulties or something that was in the way, but it's no longer a problem starting this week. All right. So with the full card, you're now free to be together or they are now free to come see you. Or speaking of coming seeing you, the eight of ones clarifying the full is a card of communication or it's a card of travel. Okay. It's also a card of Cupid's arrows. All right. <laughs> so I think that's, you will definitely be together with this person, right? If this is a new person, they will share their story of how they just recently overcame something or they won at some some kind of a really hard uphill battle, right? Um, or again, now, if perhaps you've been talking to this person for a while and they were at a distance, now say their visa is finally here and they they can come see you, right? Or if they were busy at work, they couldn't leave, they finally can, all right? I hope that makes sense. The Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck, um, this is for you, <laughs> Taurus. This is what they're bringing to the table. The Ace of Cups is love, genuine, authentic love. And I think you feel the same way towards this person yourself, right? Uh, in the potential outcome, we have the Three of Pentacles with the Star and the Ten of Pentacles. The, th the Three of Pentacles is such an amazing card when it comes to relationships and marriages. It's such an underrated card, in my opinion. The Three of Pentacles is when two people look forward to us building this together. This is a card of collaboration. It's a card of when both people are putting time, effort, whatever is necessary into this connection because both people wanted to work out, both people wanted to succeed, right? So this is like an equal give and take. The star in the middle, if this King of Swords is an Aquarius, it makes total sense. The star is an Aquarius card. But at the same time, the star is a wish come true. This is something people usually wish for or hope for for a very long time. And the Ten of Pentacles right next to the deck is a card of a commitment to marriage. I really like how it's a Ten of Pentacles because we also have the Three of Pentacles here. The, because there is multiple commitment and marriage cards in the Tarot deck, right? Then this is a Ten of Pentacles. This is a, it could be said that it's an Earth sign indicator. You're an Earth sign, right? So I think you'll be really happy to get to work together with this person. I'm not saying it will require work, but you know, any relationship, any marriage, you got to put time, effort or whatever is necessary into it. And that's what that's what you guys are doing in the uh, 
potential outcome, right? The Ten of Pentacles is a rock-solid commitment to marriage. This is when people buy real estate together, they grow old together, have children together, and all that good stuff. And at the same time, don't forget about that Ace of Cups. Yep. Cups are all emotions and love. So you are going to be in love with each other, and uh, you're going to be building this together with this King of Swords. Just love it. Love it for you, Taurus. I'm not even going to do an extended for you, because that would be a waste of time. Really, really, really happy for you. Congratulations. Taurus, if you are already married, or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Moon, the Star, uh, the Six of Swords, and the uh, Temperance on the bottom of the deck. We have two healing cards on the table, and uh, another card that symbolizes things getting better, things improving. So for some of you, it literally is healing. Perhaps you were sick prior to this week, right? Then this week, you will feel much better. All right, for others of you, it's some kind of a rough patch being over. And uh, those two healing cards are simply symbolizing that things will get better. So yeah, the Six of Swords right next to the deck is a card of an improvement. It's a card of uh, moving out of choppy water, so it's calmer waters. Right? It's a card of things getting better. The star could have been an Aquarius, you're dealing, but it is a card of healing. And the uh, temperance on the bottom of the deck could be a Sagittarius, you're dealing, but it is also a healing card. The moon, the first card that came out, uh, could be a Pisces, you're dealing, but, uh, you know, the moon is one of the most emotional cards in the deck. And um, since we have two healing cards, perhaps you were very emotional about not feeling well. Or you, if your significant other is not, is not feeling well, you're still very emotional about that. Or you're just emotional because something is just not right in your relationship or marriage. But this week, things will get, things will get back to normal. Alright? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, uh, Taurus, this week. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent. Ex. Also, keep in mind, we're still in both Mars and Mercury retrograde. Mars retrograde is over on the 12th, but uh, Mercury is still going in retrograde. This is when more exits than usual tend to resurface. We got the uh, page of Wands, classified by the Ace of Swords. Uh, we have the Sun, we have the Four of Wands, and we have the Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, lots of fire. <laughs> so you could be dealing with a fire sign, Leo in particular, right? The sun in the middle is a Leo card, but we have so many ones on the table, it could be any fire sign. Or somebody with a lot of fire in their chart. And uh, as I was laying down the cards and I saw the four of ones, and I was like, huh, that was quick. And I, I, then I turned the deck over and there's the eight of ones, and yes, this is a confirmation that it's going to be quick. <laughs> the, the Eight of Wands is one of the fastest card, uh, cards in the deck. The Eight of Wands also could be a card of travel. Perhaps this person is letting you know they're back in town and uh, you will just immediately get back together. That's what it feels like. right? So you, we, you, we're moving from the Page of Wands, the first card I came out, which is a card of a message, to the Four of Wands. <laughs> right? um, yeah, the Page of Wands is a message most likely from a fire sign. Right, and uh, the Ace of Swords, clarifying the page of Wands, uh, it's going to be a very straightforward and very direct message, or communication in general, or say there you're going to, you know, meet up and catch up for that cup of coffee or what have you, and that's when the Ace of Swords will play out. They'll just be very straightforward, very upfront with you. The Ace of Swords is the Ace of Truth. It's the Ace of Clarity. It's the ace of somebody who is not playing or fooling around, right? The sun in the middle, again, that could be a Leo you're dealing with, but the sun is also the happiest card in the deck, and it's also a card of clarity, just like the ace of swords, and bam, here comes the four of wands. <laughs> the four of wands is a card of a commitment to marriage. It's often referred to as the 11-11 card, all right? Then going back to that eight of wands on the bottom of the deck, again, travel, communication, um, Cupid's arrows, so I think it is a reconciliation. All right, cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances uh, towards this week. We have the Five of Wands, uh, clarified by the Ace of Swords. We have the Knight of Pentacles, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Wheel of Fortune and the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Um, it's a victory, big major victory. You are getting the job. You're getting prom promoted. Uh, you're getting that contract what have you. Whatever you've been fighting for or will be fighting for, you got it. All right? One red flag. Don't take this spread for granted, Taurus. If you still have to prepare for it, if you still have to do your homework, go ahead. 
put that time, effort, whatever is necessary into it, and then the victory is yours. All right. <laughs> so don't relax until uh, until you sign that paperwork. All right. So the five of wands, the first card I came out is a card of competition or a card of a fight to be frank, right? And you're fighting for a job, promotion, contract, what have you. The Ace of Swords clarifying the um, Five of uh, Wands. So there's going to be a decision made, and I think it's going to go in your favor, right? Because the rest of the spread is just amazing. The Knight of Pentacles clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. It's a pile of cash coming your way. It's an avalanche of cash. Well, I'm over-exaggerating, but it really is, <laughs> right? Both the Knight and the Ace of Pentacles are talking about cash money right offers to for you all right the will of fortune right next to the deck is the start of a new cycle if you get promoted it's the start of a new cycle to get that job or if you get that contract it's the start of a cycle right the two of cups on the bottom of the deck when it comes to work business and finances this is my handshake card and uh, it could be literally a handshake and then some paperwork where you sign they sign and you got it all right so yeah congratulations to us Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week, Taurus. We have the Seven of Cups, the Nine of Cups, the Six of Wands, and the Knight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. I think this is pretty much a repeat of the work, business, and finances spread I did for you a couple of minutes ago. Same story. Different deck, same story. It's a victory. You're being chosen out of many. All right? The Seven of Cups, the first card I came out, is a card of a multiple choice, and I think this is somebody else choosing among multiple candidates and you're one of those candidates and uh, they're gonna choose you. The Knight of Cups in the middle is a card of a wish come true and it's also a card of personal satisfaction and fulfillment and I think that's the way you're gonna be feeling because of uh, that victory in the Six of Wands right next to the deck which is a card of victory, success, recognition, promotion and things like that. The Knight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck again <laughs> a pile of cash is heading your way. Well not literally but the Knight of Pentacles always talks about a very decent chunk of change. If uh, you're getting the job, the contract, or promotion, yeah, you'll you're you'll feel it in your bank account. All right, so yeah, that's what you're not expecting. So keep doing whatever it is you're doing um, to get this. All right, don't stop. Don't take it for granted. Even push a little, f you know, further, and it's yours. All right, so that's what I have for you, uh, Taurus, for this reading. For this week if this video resonates with you please like it please also share and subscribe and uh, other than that to us have an amazing week